What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So for today's video I have a brand new minimal unboxing and this one actually came by very very popular demand and that's because minimal just dropped their brand new stretch denim and honestly I'm a very big fan of it but I'll get into more detail about that in just a few moments. They also actually were gracious enough to send me their new t-shirts and I'll be able to give you a review on that as well if you guys were on the fence about purchasing. All things considered guys, before we get in the video, I did wanna let you guys know that we do have a coupon code and it's LOCUSTWILDHONEY10. It's 10% off the already very, very low prices on their respective website. So it'll be in the description. The link will be in the description as well as our coupon code. So check it out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I get this question time and time again, Paul, do you have any suggestions for just a good boxy tee, one that's serviceable, that won't break the bank, and at $22, I think we have found it with minimal with the basic drop tee. As its name entails, the basic drop shoulder tee features drop shoulders, a flat line hem, and is comprised of 100% cotton. It's an essential for anybody's wardrobe and it comes in the essential colors as well. First in black, white, and gray. I'm a really big fan of these t-shirts and at $22, you really can't go wrong. And a company with our coupon code, you're looking at $20 approximately out the door. So it's a great alternative to the ever popular boxy t-shirts. Next up is the oil wash drop tee and the oil wash pocket drop tee. And what makes these shirts different from the drop shoulder tees that we just spoke about um, is really just the fact that uh, they come in a variety of colors and they are essentially washed with oil or at least that's what it looks like. And it's really nice for the spring and summer because it'll look great uh, to have that like vintage washed aged look. That said, these shirts will run you $25, which in my opinion is a very fair price um, with regard to sizing for the previous shirt, the, the standard drop uh, shoulder basic t-shirt, as well as these oil drop t-shirts. I personally went true to size and they fit great. Just for reference, here is the t-shirt with the pocket. Uh, definitely a good looking shirt. And as I said earlier, it does have that aged look here on the seams. Uh, it's got that like washed out look. I really, really am a big fan of this shirt and this crimson red. Can't wait to wear it during the summertime with my with my new Vans. If you guys saw um, in the live stream, I just picked these up. So definitely gonna be a good look for the summer. Here is a t-shirt without the pocket. And to me personally, I do prefer the non-pocket one just because I don't find myself using the pockets. If that's for you, by all means go for them. Either way is good. But yeah, I love this shirt. As you can see, it is like an olive colorway. Very, very nice in my opinion. And that wash around the neck region looks really, really nice. Yeah, these are the oil wash tees. And now onto the denim. One thing that I was a bit skeptical about with regard to the stretch denim was that they might take a small hit with regard to quality. This isn't the case at all. These are essentially just like uh, the ones that we are all familiar with, the standard M1s, the 10 inch zippers that are concealed, the nice taper, the relaxed fit at the quad and thigh region. They're essentially just the same, but with an added 2% spandex. What does this result in? A stretchy elastic denim while maintaining a very heavy ounceage of 13 ounces. And this is awesome because this just adds a little bit more uh, dynamic to your wardrobe because now you can wear these jeans during the summer uh, climates and totally get away with it. Um, furthermore, if you guys have like the bigger uh, calves and quads like myself, you'll have the ability to go true to size in the waist region and not suffer from a lack of blood flow uh, to your legs. So it's definitely a great addition as in as you can see behind me, uh, they come in the very, very popular colorways. I'll go ahead and show them to you. Here is the black pair. And again, guys, these are just like the standard M1s, just with a bit more elasticity. Don't worry about uh, the quality being degraded at all because they're essentially just the same. Um, they just are a lot more stretchy. I really am a big fan. Um, I'm so glad that Minimal added this to the lineup. And what I do know what about what they do is that they definitely listen to the consumer. And that's why they, they, they decided to make these. Really nice denim. Here is a splash denim. As you can see, it's got the, like the bleach spots. Definitely, this is actually one of my favorite uh, 
uh, washes. We also have the best seller, that's the OG wash. Very, very nice. And I'll go ahead and put them on body so you guys can see uh, that there really hasn't been uh, too much of a drastic change. This is just another option for us and I think that's really great that they offer that. All that being said guys, definitely check them out if you guys were uh, like on the fence about getting the stretch denim, I definitely suggest it. Uh, for me personally, um, I, I'm so glad that I have both because some days you know you want to go out at night and you want to have that nice heavy like structure and that's when you know the standard denim comes in. And then say it's a summer day and you still want to rock jeans, not sweat to death and also be pretty comfortable and have that ability to be more like stretchy and you know like mobile. Definitely check these out. They're a great look. And yeah, man, those are my overall thoughts. If you guys have any questions, you guys already know, I'm here to answer them for you. Go ahead and drop a comment below. If you guys did enjoy the video, please consider leaving a thumbs up as it does go such a long way for us YouTubers. And with all that being said, guys, as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed. So just before I let you guys go, I did want to let you guys know what it's like to have the denim over the duration of a week. Um, I've been wearing them, just kind of interchanging the colors, but I've been wearing them um, pretty much every day this week. And um, just some my overall thoughts is that I find that they stack better in my opinion. Um, the second thing and probably the biggest difference between the two is how dang comfortable these are. Like literally, it feels like you're wearing like, not in a weird way, but it feels like you're wearing like leggings. And it's just mad comfortable. Um, I'm super hyped that they added that spandex aspect to them because I I know for sure like it, when it's hot and stuff, those are gonna be my go-to denim um, throughout the summer. So um, I definitely think you guys should check them out. You can't go wrong with either of them to be honest with you. Both denim is super dope and like I would recommend them both. Uh, but if you have the opportunity to try the stretch, I definitely suggest it. I'm very, very happy with them. And I, as I said, I've been wearing them all week and that's not necessarily by chance or by uh, the fact that I was gonna do this part of the video because this is just kind of on a whim. Also, with regard to sizing, a lot of you guys have been asking me, should I go true to size to my normal minimal M1 size? And that's what I did and I found that they fit very well. I have zero complaints. Um, I could have theoretically gone a size down and the waist probably would have fit me a little bit better, but everything else fit perfectly going true to size. So I guess it's really all up to like your decision, your, your discretion, but um, I honestly like, I really recommend it and I was wearing it this week because I really enjoyed uh, the pants and they're mad comfortable. So um, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And with all that being said, as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.